Washington Commanders, Seattle Seahawks. Seahawks favored by six and a half. The over under 44 and a half. Thoughts on this one? I'm going to take Washington to cover, right? Uh, so I do think Seattle wins this game. I just don't think they win it by seven. Um, they're licking their wounds a little bit after after kind of getting destroyed, for lack of a better term, against Baltimore. Uh, they get to come home in front of the 12s, which is always a good thing. But Washington's for Washington's a pesky four and five, right? Like they just – they don't roll over. And Sam Howell – turns into a good gunslinger, gets some good points late, is not afraid to continue to drive the ball down the field. Jahan Dotson has emerged here the last couple of weeks, which is a good thing. Curtis Samuel is coming back, which he was highly involved in the offense. Terry McLaurin has been kind of standard Terry McLaurin, right? He was ne- He's never been as good as the fantasy community wanted him to be coming out of Ohio State, but he has been a consummate back-end wide receiver too. Like that, that's just kind of his role in fantasy life. Um, so I think that they do enough there. Uh, Seattle needs to get right offensively, right? Uh, we need Gino to kind of step it up here a little bit. He has not looked like himself from last year at all. Um, needs to kind of have a game for himself. Uh, so I do think that there's a potential of that. Um, but I don't think it's going to happen that great. I think they're, they want to run the ball. And now that they're back home, they'll play with a lead. I think they're going to milk a lot of this clock. So uh, I'm taking Washington and the under. Fair enough. I am also going to take Washington, who is four and one against the spread on the road uh, lately. So I, I think that they do find a way to keep this thing, you know, three point type of game. But I do think that we find the, the over just slightly like, this is one of those I, I really think it's going to be about a 24 to 21 type of game. Like it just squeaks on the over um, on this one. I do think that uh, Lockett, though, has a very good game where we see him go over 57 and a half receiving yards. Fair enough. I have Terry McLaurin just under 65 and a half receiving yards. 